guys, it's Mommy Tang. What's up, Tang Yang? Oh, I know some of you know already because I Snapchat this morning, but Peyton got really sick. I think she has a stomach virus or stomach flu, whatever she has, and she's been throwing up all night. So I had no sleep last night, like none, okay? She, she kept on throwing up on me, and I had to change the blanket and throwing up on me, change the blanket, throw up on me. And then she was like, hold me, and she was stinky, like puke, you know what I mean? <laughs> you guys all know <sighs> so I am actually the whole day it's kind of crazy because I got to take care of her at the same time I got to do my stuff you know before a long time ago when I didn't know this okay when things come up I just shut myself down you know kids come first husband come first other people come first whatever come first and I just shut myself down because I was like I'm just too busy but these days no, no, I put myself in there, I do. It's very important. So today, mukbang topic, before I go on with what I'm gonna make, I already know that you know what I'm gonna make because you see the title, right? What I'm gonna talk about today on mukbang is about dream, going after your dream and how you can make your dream come to reality, all that good stuff, we'll talk about it. As far as our food is concerned, I will be using three ingredients today any mushroom will do i'm gonna use button mushroom because i'm sure anywhere in this world you could use this okay some of you call me and say oh mommy tang i would love to make that but i can't find that like i hate that i'm like what why am i showing you these things if you can't find it you know what i mean so from now on i'm gonna try really hard to use the products or the ingredients that you could really find you know what i mean you know what I mean? <laughs> Next, I have some zucchini for you. Mm. Next, I have scallions. So with these three things, I'm gonna show you something very yummy. So stay tuned. Ready? Let's get to it. Okay, so I just went and washed all my veggies. So you just wanna rinse them off, you know, make them clean. And first thing that you wanna do is work on the zucchini. That's the first step, okay? So what you're gonna do is just, the ends off and it just really depends for how many people you're making for me I probably eat just half of the zucchini because my main meal is mushrooms today oh so we don't have Peyton today because she's sleeping right now that's why my voice is really shh. yeah because my voice is really low because I don't want to wake her up you know but I do have little princess other princess with me come on little princess <sighs> go over there and show them your pretty legs Go over there and show them your pretty legs. Oh, look at that. Oh, she looks all pretty. So you're gonna cut them right in the middle, okay? And then you're going to slice them pretty thin. Like so. See how thin they are? Have one. Uh, honey, you can't eat that, okay? Because they're not pickle, they're zucchinis. No, I, I, want, I want to, I want to cook. <laughs> so you're just going to slice whatever the amount that you're going to be eating. I mean, you could cook this a lot, actually, and then put it in the refrigerator and eat it the next day. It doesn't really matter, okay? Ew. I can't touch money when I'm cooking. Money dirty. Okay? So, the next thing what you want to do, you want to get a bowl, and then you're going to place your zucchini in the bowl. Next, you're going to season a little bit of the zucchini with salt. Just regular sea salt. You can use whatever salt you have. Okay, and then you just toss it around and set aside. And then chop some mushroom, maybe into a bite size. You can make it small, big, whatever you want, you know? I'm just gonna make it into like a little bite size because <laughs> you know how big my mouth is. It's like a heart, you know what I mean? My mom always said, oh, you have such a big bite, you know? There was always reasons, I guess. I know some of you guys hate mushroom and like, ooh, mushroom's nasty, you know what I mean? But there are a lot of people out there who love mushroom too. So you're gonna cut them up like that and then put them aside. Don't season them. Next, you're gonna cut some scallions 
the head off, save these to replant or for soup stacks, okay? I'll just cut it roughly. I don't know, like maybe diagonal maybe? I don't know. You can do whatever you want with these. Diagonal is nice with this dish. You don't want to make it too small unless you hate scallion or something like that, but... And then put them aside. Okay, so heat on. Add some water. We're not going to use oil for this, okay? You could if you want to. I'm not. Do you notice my spirit is kind of a little like down today? I don't know. When my kids get sick, I get really worried inside, you know? And I think it shows, but <laughs> I'm trying real hard here to be like funny, okay? I can't be funny 365 days. I mean, we call that crazy around here, you know? Okay, let's add some mushroom in there. Now remember, all the vegetables that we're using, they could be eaten raw, right? So you're just cooking them just to get the flavor out, the texture out. You're not really cooking them to like for safety concerns or, you know what I mean. With meat, you gotta like make sure it's in the right temperature and stuff. You don't have to worry about stuff like that with veggies. <laughs> if they're sticking, just put more water in there. Remember, mushroom holds a lot of water too, you know? So you don't want to put too much water. You just want to like, kind of cook them through, you know? I don't know, I like my mushroom cooked. What about you guys, you know? I like my mushroom cooked. I hate it when your kids get sick and you have such a busy day ahead of you. It's just like, it's crazy, you know? So mommy tech, how do you know the mushrooms are cooked? <laughs> Just eat it, okay? And if you like it, then it's cooked. Okay, let's get the seasoning going. Soy sauce. You could use any soy sauce you like. I use tamari because I think this is a very healthy soy sauce. You know, there are some nasty soy sauce out there that has all these chemicals and, you know, and all that stuff. A little bit of soy sauce, it goes in there. Okay, so that's the, the flavor, okay? That's the base of our sauce. It's gonna give you the, uh, you know, the soy sauce flavor, the Asian flavor, okay? To that, we're gonna add some onion powder. If you don't have onion powder, you could use onion granulates. Is that what you call it? I don't know. My English sucks right now. Um, I don't know. You could use, or if you don't like onion, don't put onion. If you don't have, Onion powder, they don't use onion powder, okay? I'm just giving out options, you know, for people that have stuff like this. A little bit of onion powder. A little bit of garlic powder. If you have regular raw garlic, you could put it in there, but I told you about being lazy and all. Ooh. So right now we have the garlic flavor and the soy sauce flavor. <laughs> it's looking good, looking good. Next. We gotta make it a little sweeter. You know, we need a little bit of sweetness in our lives. Be free, honey. Look for them. They're everywhere now. I heard that. Somebody left a comment. I love reading comments. This is more of the reason. Somebody said, oh, this lady who created this be free, I think she was making something and like she made a mistake or something and it became a, it just, she made it by mistake. And now it's all over the place, you know? A little bit of that. Now, if you want your sweeter, then just like, you know what I mean? <laughs> I like my food sweet. Let me just give a little taste. Ooh, ooh, I'm gonna lower the heat at this point. Black pepper, guys. This makes a big, huge difference, okay? Black pepper. Okay, so into that, do you remember the zucchini? We're gonna put that in there, but do you remember we salt it? So, if you just put the zucchini like right away, the raw zucchini, it's going to be really watery. The zucchini is going to be like, I don't know, watery. To prevent that, you're going to, remember we salt it, you're going to, uh, I'm just going to put this on top of here. <laughs> be really ghetto, you know, other people do it elsewhere, but I'm like, <laughs> you 
know how I am. I get all ghetto and stuff. So what you do is you just squeeze the zucchini like so. Okay. It's probably better if you wait a little longer because it's a little bit, but you just squeeze with your hands. Okay, see the juice coming out? Okay. Squeeze the juice out. And then you put it in there. When you do that, your zucchini is going to be all nice and chewy. You're going to be like, wow. Wow, what a texture. You know? Little things you do with cooking, just little things you do. It makes a huge difference, okay? Squeeze. Put it in there. Done with this. And then you're just gonna stir it up again. Oh my gosh, looks so good already. Look at that, I'm just gonna put the heat up high now. Oh my gosh, guys, it smells wonderful. It smells amazing. It really does. And it's such an easy, easy meal that you can make and it's oil free and it's healthy. I mean, you could eat this like till you get really full, you know what I mean? And you won't have to worry about gaining any weight or anything like that. Now, if you are vegan, most of you probably know what this is. If you're not vegan, then look it up, okay? You could put a little bit in there. It's very, this is very optional. You don't have to. It's not going to change the flavor, but I like to put it there just for the benefits. You know what I mean? Oh, do you hear Peppy crying? Listen. All right. Peppy! I have to go and get her. I'll be back. <sighs> it's crazy when kids are sick, but okay, so it's almost done. Actually, Pepe is sitting in front of me. Say hi, Pepe. Oh, she doesn't want to say hi. Don't worry, mommy will be done really soon. Thank you. You got her at the pool? Yeah. Come here, Amber. Come here, Amber. And then you're going to put the scallions on top of it. Stir around. And that's it, you guys. Look how fast and easy that was. You try it, you're going to be like flipping, okay? Now you cook this for your boyfriend or, you know what I mean, your husband or your, your wife or your girlfriend or your parents or your kids who love mushroom, they're gonna love you, you know? Mm. Mm. It's not done yet, okay? I'll be right back. I have to go get rice, I'll be back. Of course, you could start with family style, you know, make this and put it in a plate and put it in the middle of the table, but since this is for me, I got a bowl of rice, Place it in a nice plate, like so. Spread the rice around a little bit. Get the mushroom and put it on the side. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my God. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Look at that. Mommy Tang, are you sure you're done? Of course I'm not done. Don't you know? Me, kimchi, sesame seeds. We go hand in hand. Sesame seeds. Alova, alova. Protein, protein. Go for the muscle. Are you done, Mommy Tang? Of course not. Saracha. Everybody loves sriracha. Ooh, I gotta put it. Now you tell me, okay? If it doesn't look good, you tell me what you think. Guys, you have no idea, okay? This smells amazing right now. Wait, you make that? Yeah. Mommy's saying, are you done? Of course not. I'll be eating it with 
mother-in-law's kimchi. Okay, listen, people are snapping me saying, Mommy Tang, I bought a mother-in-law's kimchi, but they were vegan. Mother-in-law's kimchi bread is not vegan, okay? They make vegan kimchi. If you want to know, the yellow little sign right here, see how it says vegan? This is a white kimchi, okay? The red one would also say regular house kimchi or vegan kimchi, so look for that, okay? Are you ready to eat this? I am. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I can explain the flavor. Woo. Oh. Seriously, guys. This is the way to eat healthy, okay? It's not that hard. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. Mmm. Oh, I'm on fire. Sriracha is so hot for me. But I've so, I but I love sriracha. I'm telling you guys, if you like mushroom, try this. Okay, it's up. The, the recipe is so easy. All you have to do is chop some vegetables and that's it. No? Eat it with your rice and kimchi. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Mother in law. Mother in law kimchi. Oh. I'm gonna cut them first. Ooh. Mm. You okay? Okay. Thank you. I know last night, mukbang, I talked about my husband. <laughs> you guys are like, tell me more, tell me more. But I also got a comment. Enough with your husband already. You know what I mean? Didn't I tell you? I care. Okay. Because it just might be just one person that just commented, but there might be hundreds of you that's thinking inside. Enough. Enough with your husband's story. Enough with the romance. You know what I mean? Okay. But today, I'm gonna talk about dream, my dream, why I am on YouTube. Okay. As you know, I don't know if you know or not. I guess now you know. I am a stay-at-home mom. I don't work, that means. My husband, okay, here we go again with the little husband, but I need my husband's story in here to tell you what I mean, okay? My husband is a very, very responsible man, okay? I've never, ever seen him skip work because he was sick. Even if he's sick, he goes to work to provide us with what we need because that's his duty as a dad, as a husband, you know. So when I see stuff like that, I learned a lot from him. I, I really do. When I look at my husband, I learn a lot. Honey, I don't know if you're watching this or not, but I do. I don't really tell you this, but I learned a lot from you, you know. I love the way you think. Before I met my husband, 
I was young, of course, but I used to sit there, just dream about what I wanted. Mm, I want this. Oh, I want this. I would picture my dreams and just dream about it, but sit there and kind of do nothing about it, really. Told that my, my husband. My husband doesn't have big dreams. He doesn't. Not like me. His dreams are just simple. But what I learned about my husband is that he walks towards his dream every day. You know, slow and slow, but every day. And I've seen him achieve these dreams while I was with him. And I was like, wow, this is amazing, you know? Sometimes simple things in life, it's right there, but you just don't see it. So, my dream, guys, really, is to create a cookbook. That's what I want to do. That's my dream. That's Mommy Tang's dream, yo. And you guys are helping me get this. I am so glad because you guys love me and I feel like, wow, and that's my dream to make a cookbook. People say to me, oh, make an ebook. I said my dream was to make a cookbook, not an ebook. <laughs> I know, right? And somebody said to me, oh, you can make a cookbook now. No, no, no. I want to make a cookbook. When I know it's the time. That's my dream because my dream is up there. I know I can make a cookbook now and just, you know, kind of own, publish it on my own and just kind of like whatever. But that's not my dream, you know? So one day I sat down and said to myself, how am I going to achieve this dream? How am I going to do this? And I started seeing steps. Okay, first I need to do this. First I need to do that. And first I need to do that. There, there were steps. And that's when your dream comes true, when you start actually taking the steps, you know? If you sit there, or just merely just a goal, or just a dream that you see and you don't do anything about it, your dream is never, ever going to come true. And it's, it's so funny that last night I was actually um, listening to this um, person, this Korean lady in Korea. She talks about dreams. She's a... Lee Mi Kyung. She's, her name is Lee Mi Kyung. For Koreans that know her, I watch her all the time and I think she's amazing because it's the stuff that she talks about. It's just so, ins ins she gives me so much inspiration. And uh, she said to, she said last night, everybody needs a dream. Even if you're 60 years old or 7 years old, you need to have a dream. Kids have dreams, you know. They want, they want oh, I want to grow up, I want to be a doctor. But they know, have, they, know they have time. So they do other stuff, but when you get older, you feel like, oh, I can't do my dream because I'm too, I'm too, I'm too old, or I don't have time, you know, or I gotta do this, I gotta do that. I hate that. I don't like that. No, I gotta make money. No, I have bills to pay. But she says, when you get older, your dreams are not that extravagant you know what i mean they're not that big it might be let's say you're 60 she said she said she mentioned that let's say you're 60 years old woman and if you want to go to paris and that's your dream and you think you can't afford it you know you can't afford it she says just sitting there dreaming about it, it's never going to happen to you before you die you're 60 years old you save money every month and you don't touch it every month you save a little bit of money a little bit of money it might take you five years maybe 10 years but by the time when you're 70 you will be able to go to paris and that's what she was the point that she was taking she was saying that you need to go for your dream you know i know a lot of you that watch my mukbang you guys are younger than me and you guys are young so don't give up on dream and find your dream that's the most important thing in life i really think you know regardless of all the tips that i give you with guys and girls and dating tips and you know all that stuff about food and stuff you need to have a dream that that'll make you happy you know and this morning i was putting makeup on and i was watching youtube and casey neistat you know the famous vlogger he talked about dream i was like wow what is this is this a sign or something you know and then, Payne got sick. I am sure if she wasn't sick last night, today, Mukbang Talk would have been part two about my husband, you know, how I met my husband. It would have been funny. It would have been like interesting to listen to, but maybe some of you might need to listen today about 
following your dream, you know? And maybe I could inspire you. Maybe one of you, two of you. But it doesn't matter how many of you, you know? As long as there's one person always matters, you know? It's really easy for me, okay? For me to not to post these mukbang videos every day. Even today. I didn't make no, I made no promise to you guys that I'm gonna post every day, right? You know? This is not my job either. It's not like I have to do this and this, you know, it depends. You know, my kids depend on um, my mukbang. It's not like that. So this is something that I don't really have to do, I guess. But I do it because this is steps that I need to take to get closer to my dream. And I am 40 years old, you know? If I could do it, if you're younger, if you're like 20, 21, or even 19, don't give up. You know, there's so much ahead of you. Don't give up, you know? If you're older than me, like 50s or 60s, your dream might not be so big, you know? But you could start. And I'm telling you, once you start your dream, guys, it's a game changer, you know? You know how long it took me to get this much subscribers into YouTube? Somebody commented and said, Oh my god, mommy Tang, your subscribers are like just, they're coming to you so fast, you know? Now, you ask my family, because they know, they know me best. You ask them how long I worked for this channel for years. Even though I don't, didn't post before, I, I was working on it, you know? First, I started Instagram because I wanted to know what people like. I said, I need to know. I need to know what's going on. So I started Instagram. I learned a lot there. When I started YouTube, I started posting a lot. And I remember people said, you don't have a theme. You know, my first first year, I didn't have a theme. You didn't have a theme. And then, of course, there was ups and downs in your life. So I went rock bottom of my life one point while I was doing YouTube. Some of you know. So I left YouTube scene for about a good five or six months. I left because I was just so unfocused and everything was just crushing down on me, you know? Mommy Tang, tell us, where was it? <laughs> what is the deal here on my channel? You comment, I say, okay? If I don't see any comments, I'm not gonna talk about it. You should know that by now, guys. But when I started a YouTube channel, first thing I said to myself, I'm too fat. I'm too fat to be promoting healthy food. Because I, I was overweight. I was not looking like me now. I was probably 50 pounds even heavier, 45 or 50, I don't know, something like that. Because I just had Peyton, I had a lot of weight, you know, on me. So I was like, it's not time. It's not time for me to do that because honestly, if you are overweight, promoting health food, they're not gonna listen to you, you know? It's just a sad truth reality. So is my body like in perfect shape? No, it's not. But also my channel is not huge either. You know what I mean? So every day, every day, I work on my body. That's why, because I work out every day. You know, I, it might look like I just eat here, but I eat and I work out. And I try to create healthy meals for me and for you guys. Yes, there's cheat meals here and there, but that's life, you know? You have to have vacation in your life. You need to have a little rest. You need to have a little fun in your life. You can't be all the time so serious, you know? So that was my first thing. Before I started doing full-time YouTube, somewhat I want to get my body in somewhat position you know, 
and I gave myself a time limit and that was when I turned 40. I said by the time I turn 40, I'm going to start my YouTube. When I turn 40, that's the day I started doing YouTube. Uh, so many of you guys come in here and you guys really I get I'm getting so emotional here but I am so thankful because you guys are so good to me you know I go to a lot of channels and pe other people bash other people down but you guys are so good to me I thank you guys I'm getting all like sappy here <laughs> I gotta stay focused No, life has ups and downs. My life is not always dandy. It was never so dandy. I have moments where I was so, ugh. But you gotta pick it up. And there's this, you know? You just have to ride it really good. Just ride it out. Don't give up. You know, people give up. More protein, more protein. More sriracha, more sriracha. Why are you eating, why, why are you eating sriracha? Once you find your dream, once you start walking towards your dream, don't let anything stop you. Be selfish. You have to be selfish. If you're not selfish, you can't get to where you want to be. You can't. Those people that are, those successful people that are already up there, that's already living their dream, some, some of them might be happy, some of them might not be. But they got there because they were selfish. You know? I'm not saying be selfish as in like, You know, don't care about anything and just do whatever you want. Listen, didn't I tell you? My husband is a provider in our family. That means he's our king, you know? In my book, he is. You know, you guys you guys might say, oh, you're such an old school mommy tang. But I, I give full hundred respect to my husband. So if one day my husband said to me, mommy tang, no more YouTube for you because it's hurting our family and I don't want you to do it. Let's say he said that, said that to me one day, I'd probably fight back. But my decision, I will follow my husband because he would never tell me to do something that was bad for me or for, the hus uh, for our family, you know? I give him that kind of respect. Sometimes girls are saying like, but I don't know what respect means. I don't know how to give my husband respect. What does that mean? It's giving him or listening to what he wants. That's what respect is, you know? without giving up your dream. So you say to me, oh my God, so what are, you, what are you saying? Just give it up? No, but he won't say that to me. He won't say to drop this if I do everything else right. If I was like not taking care of kids, not doing the laundry around the house, you know, just not doing the housework, because I am a housewife. I stay home, take care of the house. If I was the king of the house, and just focus on mukbang and just on YouTube and just on social media, no, that's when the, this fights happen and you can't get anywhere in your dream. You can't be lazy if you want to go for your dream. You got to do everything what's given to you on top of that. You got to work for your dream. You know what I mean? Oh, I want to become, let's say you're a teenager. Oh, I want to become, I don't know, like an artist or something, but I want to quit school and just focus on art. I mean, unless you're like, like really, really like prodigy and you see yourself, whatever, you know, then yeah, go for it. But if you're young, sometimes you don't know what you want in life, you know? I never thought that I'll be on YouTube doing this. At, when I turned 40, I really didn't think that I would be doing this. So do your duty, what's given to you, do it, and then follow your dream. Follow your dream and crazy about it. Be crazy about it, you know? Are you
really crazy about mukbang? Didn't I tell you mukbang is just part of my dream? You know, I do this to get closer to where I want to go. I have big dreams, people. You know, some of you. Oh, are you gonna forget about us when you get big? Forget about who? What are you talking about? Forget about us. I'm talking crazy now and stuff. You know. Oh my god, this is so good. I'm like this close of being really full, but I'm not full yet. Mm. Do you ever wonder like who picked mushrooms? You know, the very first person ever picked mushroom and ate it and said this is good I think stupid things like that mm. This is so important to me. Very important. Hold on. Special shout out to Pang Shin, Bong Shin. You know who you are, girls. Look how cute they are. They're sending me messages and everything. I'm like, oh, you guys are so cute. The name? <laughs> it sounds like a little bell or something. You know? So cute. Mari Tang, you promised me you're gonna do a shout out. Where's my shout out? You told me you're gonna do a shout out. That's it coming okay don't worry it's somewhere in my phone you get your turn okay Come on. last bite always deserves a little sriracha and Some kimchi. <laughs> Ghetto. Mm. Follow your dream. See you later.